Welcome back to another episode of the Dale Hollow Lake podcast, where we give you the down low on all things Dale Hollow. This week, we've got some awesome guests with us. We've got Bill and Mary Jo Sapp. Uh, they're real close friends of ours, and they are Bulls Town locals. Um, they've been coming to Dale Hollow Lake for a really, really long time, and this just we just brought them on this show to kind of you know tell us about their um, what well, you're down here for 13 years. 14 yeah. years. About 13 years total, oh, yeah. yeah. So we just brought them on the show just to kind of, we want to talk with them about their life on the lake, that, you know, 13 years that they spent on the lake. So, um, you know, what made you choose Dale Hollow Lake or um, how did you decide to come to Dale Hollow Lake? Well, I, I um, as a young child, mm-hmm. uh, was, it, was on Dale Hollow Lake with, uh, we spent a lot of summers with my aunt and uncle. Mm-hmm. Uh, we would come down here. We actually stayed at Horse Creek Dock at that time, okay. which is clear at the other end of the do- uh, lake, as you know. Yeah, totally opposite. Uh, uh, absolute opposite of here. Um, but um, that's, I was probably 10, 11, 12 years old, something mm-hmm. like that, when we started coming. Uh, and then, um, Probably the last time that I was down as a young ch- young kid uh, would have been um, somewhere around the late 60s, uh-huh. 68, 69, somewhere around in there. Um, and then unfortunately we lost my uncle and didn't come down anymore. Yeah. Mary Jo and I were vacationing one summer and uh, we were actually uh, in the Outer Banks and a storm come up. We were on our motorcycle. I said, let's just get out of here. So we headed back west. Um, and uh, I told her, I said, let's just swing by Dale Hollow and see see if there's much change. Yeah. So uh, we did. We came by on the motorcycle at that time. Um, we. I don't know how we accidentally come across Eastport. To be mm-hmm. honest with you, I think it, that you you came along Eastport on, on the computer. And it I was did. the first one that popped up. So uh, you inquired about that, and we just came down on the motorcycle. That's that's right. We came mm-hmm. back down on the motorcycle. Yeah. Spent a couple of nights here then, and then we started coming down yeah. uh, as our on our summer vacations. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, we would come down three or four times a year. Ranting, ranting animals, So we talked and at one t- one day we were just talking and said, look, we can we can probably own something yeah. uh, for what we were paying in rent. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were both still working at that time. Uh, and so we bought our little place up, up the road here and uh, then after I retired, she had already retired. Mm-hmm. After I retired, why? Uh, um, Two thousand eight. We made, we we made it our home. Yeah. yeah. Two thousand and eight, we, we moved down here, and uh, we were here until two thousand and eighteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we, because of family illnesses and everything, we decided we needed to go back home. Mm-hmm. And but we still come down here quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, they come down all the time. They've got a. A camper, and they bring it down. You've got a site up here, and yeah, um, it's just been a good amount of time up here. Oh yeah, um, yeah we love it down here. We've met so many nice uh-huh. people. I mean, your family and, and just so many people down here. Good friends. We've yeah. got a lot of good friends down mm-hmm. here. Uh, we had a church home in Cookville, and we enjoyed that, and uh, enjoyed everything that that uh, we've done down here. We had a tritune. First of oh. all, we had a pontoon a, and then a, a tritune. Mm-hmm. And uh, spent a lot of time on the lake. A lot of time. You got a job down here. Yeah. He retired, but he didn't fully retire. No. <laughs> but I, I tell people it wasn't a job. <laughs> you always said if it ever became work, you quit. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, but there were some long days sometimes, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, but um, but it was always fun, no matter what. Mm-hmm. So, 
So you, you really just stumbled upon this side then. I mean, you didn't even mm -hmm. really didn't. know anything about it till you came yeah. and looked. Came and with it. Matter of fact, when we first came down, mm -hmm. uh, there were other owners down here. And then mm -hmm. shortly after we started coming down, then you, I, I think we were still renting when when uh, Richard no, uh, no, we had we we had bought the, we had bought our place. Okay. Uh, we had just bought it though. Yeah. Yeah, we had just bought it. Uh, um, so, if somebody was thinking about moving to the lake, or I mean, do you have anything you recommend to them, or um, you know, hindsight, something you do different, or um, I guess just from your experience, you have any recommendations? Well, I would just say that uh, make the leap. The uh, uh, people down here in, in Tennessee, I've not run across anyone that's really mm -hmm. was bad. I mean, everybody's so friendly and so welcoming. Matter of fact, we added on to our house mm -hmm. after we moved down here and without asking, and my husband was gonna do it himself, without asking, we had locals several local men come down. We had five or six they, men at the time. Mm -hmm. They just popped in, people we didn't even know. Yeah. That's just, just how in this and, area and is. Start helping us stack the logs. Mm -hmm. and, Not to yeah. mention the beauty of the area. Yeah. I mean, the, mm -hmm. the, the hills and the, the, the lake is gorgeous. It's, it's nice to swim in. You don't have to worry about alligators and yeah. sharks. <laughs> and it, I mean, it's a beautiful water, that's oh, for sure. It is, um, we just love this it. This is the pretty part of the lake. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as, yes. as far as uh, skiing, uh -huh. this would be the best skiing or or surfboarding or whatever you you oh, yeah. do. It's the quietest water. Mm -hmm. You get up toward the uh, other end and you've got choppier waters and mm -hmm. it's not as good yeah. to ski or mm -hmm. surfboard or whatever. Yes, yeah, and it's not a little creek back here like a lot of people think. Oh yeah. no. I mean, no, it's wide. We've got seven houseboats we were in, mm -hmm. and you know we've got them coming and going every single day, and there's yeah. plenty of water. And but like you said, I mean, it's calm. It's not it rocky. Is, it's yeah. not as busy. You don't get beat up whenever you're out there. And the water is so clean. I mean, it's it's fun. Oh, yeah. It's fun to uh, look at. You can look at your look down in the water, and you can see your legs. It's it's not uh -huh. dirty at all. So you know that's mm -hmm. why we like it. It's just beautiful here. And in the summer, I mean, it, it gets warm, the water. I mean, oh, yeah. high 80s, low 90s, I mean, it's bad oh, yeah. water. It Sometimes is. it gets pretty warm. Uh -huh. Yeah, but um, that always makes it nice, though. We just jump in and not, not cold. Sure. Um, let's see. Um, Drawn a blank. Oh, we used yeah. to have... The locals would get together. We would get together and oh, have oh, combined right. some, uh, barbecues, and mm -hmm. and we do that every weekend. Sometimes and, you know, we had a shelter house down there where we lived, and uh -huh. and people would bring their food in if they wanted to come and stay just a little bit and go home. That's mm -hmm. fine. Just and, swing by for oh, a couple yeah, drinks. Right, and we've sir. always had such a good time. The camaraderie down here is just oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, touch a little bit more on. You know, you being able to pay what you paid in renting a cabin three or four times a year, oh, you yeah. could afford your own. We've got a few customers right now that pretty much mean do the same thing. Um, you know, like Chris, you know, the guy who bought your cabin, they used to come down two, three times a year. Right. And they actually purchased your cabin, and now his brother is building a cabin as well. Yeah. So as much as we love renting cabins, we also love when people move down and we get to see them the whole time. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that, and the thing of it is, in this area, you're not going to pay, pay an exorbitant amount to, to buy real estate. It, oh, the, no. the the cost of real estate isn't isn't that high. Mm -hmm. Not like it would be if you went to Nashville or oh, no. Franklin or places mm -hmm. like that. Although it's beautiful there mm -hmm. too, you know, it, it's cheaper to live mm -hmm. here. And getting away from the hustle and bustle. Is, oh yeah, right. Is nice. I mean, yeah. where where we're building right now. That was one of the reasons we liked the spot was because you can't see anybody. Yeah. Right. You know, it's we so we loved being in neighborhoods growing up, but now it's kind of we like the we can't see anybody. We yeah. like the privacy, and um, but you're still close to all your neighbors and being able to yeah hang out with them on the weekends. So. Well, I always said that um, here when we lived here, if 
a car come down the road, you look up to see who it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's looking. Back you in, know, and we're, when we moved back to Indiana and where we live now, there's some, I mean, it's not, I don't want to say that, I don't want to make it sound like it's a big, heavy traffic, traffic uh -huh. area. It's not. Yeah. But there's considerable more traffic mm -hmm. than what you would ever see around here. Yeah. Now, you, somebody drives down the road now, you don't pay any attention mm -hmm. where we live now. Yeah. They, they're, they're just going. But when we lived here, if someone drove down the road, of course, if you think about it, that road we lived on, when we lived up there, there was only two other mm -hmm. permanent residents in that particular mm -hmm. neighborhood. Uh, the other, the other cabins uh, or uh, pieces of real estate, the people would come and stay there, but from time to time. Of course, one of them was a rental cabin, oh. but the the others were just uh, people's vacation homes. Yeah. Um, the only three permanent residents up there. So, you remember when you guys used to do the uh, the shoots? The what's that? Thing? Oh, the the ski shoot. shooting. Ski shooting. Oh, it was yeah. so much fun we, to watch. Yes, we we had a whole game set up. You know, it kind of reminded me of. Um, yeah. Um, oh, I'm I'm blanking on what it's called. Not horse. Kind of reminded me of a basketball game. Um, okay. Where you play with the person behind you made it before you did. No, you got well, when they're practicing, yeah. uh -huh. they do that a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was fun to watch. It, and they'd shoot clay pigeons, and uh, oh, golly, five or six people at a time would be up there. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And then yeah. now they have uh, uh, shooting contests for a meat shoot, mm -hmm. and you yeah. shoot for meat. So. Yeah, it's still a, it's still a shotgun, but they yeah they shoot at a paper target, and the person who gets a BB hole closest to the center wins. Um, All right. Uh, it's sponsored by the local fire department. Fire department. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so, I haven't been in a really long time, but they I know they've got good turnout. They do. Yeah. They have yeah. a really good turnout. Did before I left anyhow. Mm -hmm. I yeah. hear they still do. So. Yeah, and yeah. several people that that uh, were in that shoot, you know, they come down here at the marina and oh, yeah. have mm -hmm. supper and or have have lunch and everything, mm -hmm. and you know that's how you've met different people and mm -hmm. got to know them and there's there's so many different uh geographical areas that are uh oh yeah mentioned down or what do i want to say not mentioned but there's people from michigan people from ohio people from indiana uh -huh. people uh, you know like all over nashville or just local yeah. that have been born and raised around here yeah. and um yeah so there are people I mean, and then there's there's over. there's other people that don't even know about Dale Hollow Lake, <laughs> and so we spread it around, like even up in Indiana. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of my friends uh, that are from Indiana that have come down here at one time or another, or continue to come down here. Well, and I mean our three biggest um, customer base is from you know Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan, which is kind of weird if you think about it, just because you have Nashville that's so close or um, you know, Chattanooga, you've got Atlanta that's not too much further. No. Of course, they've got so many lakes close to them where right. Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, you've either got um, Lake Michigan or something huge, or you've got puddles. Yeah. Right. You know, and right. if you want some place that's, that's uh, private and fun, this is the place to come. Oh, yeah. I mean, this, this is the area that you want to be in, and it's right around mm -hmm. here. Yeah, and we are, I know we've talked about this a little, but we are a little bit smaller, so we are more personable. Yeah, you know I mean? right. We, yeah. we get to know everybody. It's not, we're not so big where, you know, you just know the customer coming and going. I mean, a lot of these friends have been made through just customers that started coming right. over the years. And if you read, read the uh, customer reviews on here, mm -hmm. and they're all excellent. Oh, yeah. Everybody likes it yeah. down here. So, um, would you have anything else you'd like to add or, you know, talk about? They got an awesome volunteer fire, fire department here and, and. We could use probably some, some more volunteers. Yeah. 
uh, Bill then, used to be on it, and mm -hmm. Nathan, you're on it mm -hmm. now, aren't you? Yeah, well, I'm on it right now, and um, Bailey, um, that was actually on last week's episode, um, is on it as well. Um, of course, he's in school, so we lose him during the school year whenever he's gone, yeah. but um, I mean, we could always use more personnel in the fire department, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Well, the weather is fantastic. I mean, you mm -hmm. still have winter down here, but it's not like what, what oh, yeah. you have it in Indiana or Michigan. No. So it, it's awesome down here. As a matter of fact, it's March the 23rd, is it, or the 24th? Mm -hmm. And, and I'm in shorts. Yeah, the, the right. weather's up almost to 70. It's, mm -hmm. it's very nice outside, and the mm -hmm. sun's shining. So yeah, this is this is my recommendation. I love it. Thank you. And our plan was to film this outside, but it's pretty breezy today, yeah, and pretty we windy. didn't think it sound very good, so we decided to move it inside. And um, we're actually filming inside the restaurant right now. They're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Now, come Memorial Day, they'll be open seven days a week. Okay. Um, yeah. But um, so if y'all don't have anything else to add, I think we can go ahead and kind of wrap it up there. Okay. So, um, well, thank you for joining us on another episode of the Dale Hollow Lake podcast. We want to thank Bill and Mary Jo for joining us this week. And I'm not sure what's in store for next week's episode yet, but we will definitely make a post and let y'all know. And we just want to thank you for um, watching this. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and, um, you know, give us a share. So thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having us.